Welcome back. In between the parts, I did some messing around with my graphics card and the settings for the game in order to get rid of this little jitter I was noticing. I noticed it very much when part one went out on YouTube and like it's panning across Gransel Castle for the first time. There's sort of like a little, like, little tiny jumps. It's sort of like, like just jitteriness to it. And it was like, can I sort that out? Apparently I can. Messed around with loads of settings, checked out on forums of other people had the same issue and seems to have been resolved now. I'm not going into how and why, it's, it's really dependent on my stuff, is the best way of putting it. Can't help everyone. Also, we need to go speak to the guy upstairs and see about this ghosty thing that he saw. And why he was sighing. Sigh. Sigh. Uh, excuse me? Could we talk to you for a sec? What the hell am I doing? I'm running back home just because Dad ain't here. <laughs> I'm pathetic. Oh, for crying out. Hello? Look at people when they're trying to talk to you. Eh? What? <laughs> Who are you guys? Ah, he finally notices us. So I guess you're Beldon. Yeah? That's right. Yeah, where are you? You're that bracer from the tournament, ain't you? Yep, I'm Estelle Bright. This is my superior, Shadazard Harvey. A pleasure. Uh, Alright. So, what do you guys need? Well, we heard you saw a white shadow recently. We're wondering if you'd mind telling us about it. Oh, that. I'd rather not talk about it, to be honest. Anytime I remember too much about it, I just get scared all over again. <sighs> Was it... Oh, it was probably more sort of like... <laughs> like she's scared of it. Was it... Really that scary? Now, now, don't say that. How about you tell me? Uh, but... If you tell me, I might do something nice for you. Whoa. Shira, I've told you before that sex appeal is not a guild-approved weapon. It can kind of be seen as harassment in a way, but alright. Yes, yes. Now then, really. Do you feel like tr tr talking? I was going to say training. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt. I was living in the warehouse where the crew hangs out until about a week ago. I usually only come back here for food, see? I slept over there, you know, so I could chill with my bros. You gotta be kidding. How in the name of the goddess could you not want to live in a big comfy house like this? He's just young is all. Please continue. Like I said, it was a week ago. The crew was all boozed up and asleep, but I woke up for some reason. I thought I'd go outside, feel the night air, y you know, and then I saw it. You mean, a white shadow? Yeah, a white shadow floating up in the air. So some kind of old-fashioned get-up cape and all. And it was dancing in the air. <laughs> That's rather specific. I, I, I think white cape and I think of two things. Like, I'll go with the one that's less obvious, but sort of seems probably relevant to everything. It's like white cape. Phantom Thief. B. But the more logical conclusion is White Cape Ghost Nosferatu. That's rather specific. You're certain that alcohol and exhaustion weren't clouding your senses? Nah, no way. This get me right out of being drunk. And I tried to scream, but couldn't even do that. After the thing flew off to the northeast, I ran to the warehouse yelling and woke everyone up. It just got me a punch from Rocco, though. I'd imagine, yes. Do you remember exactly when during the night this happened? I guess around two in the morning? Ah, uh, now I remember the whole thing. I came home to try and forget all that. Now I get why you ran home. You just didn't want to sleep in some place where you'd seen something scary. So you learned how nice it is to have a home to come back to, yes? Call me crazy, but this might be a good opportunity to leave the ravens behind. Uh, yeah, I know I'm not cut out for it. But, well, I just can't face my dad. He's busy with the election and not home much. That's why I came back, but... Once the election is over, I'll have to face him, one way or another. If he manages to win, my life will get even more restrictive. So basically, you're just running away from what you don't like. Well... Now, now, cheer up. Shira placed a quick peck on Beldin's cheek. 
<laughs> uh, Shanna, that's sexual harassment. I warned you about this. <laughs> Just a little something to perk you up and say thanks for the info. Now it's up to you to think for yourself and find your own answer to this problem. Remember, you're the only one who can. Mm, miss? Well, this, certain, this is certainly a start. Estelle? Let's go. R right, right, really. Belden, thanks for talking to us. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh dear, oh dear, poor Belden. No point in running from my dad forever, right? I know that better than anyone still. Triple dot. Triple dot indeed. And I just made a cut. Because, as some people know on Discord, yes, I have a Discord, links down in the description. Um, I have gone away and done some leveling up in some regard. I basically went and got all the stuff sorted in terms of upgrades. Yeah, you, know, you know me. I like to get that stuff sorted as soon as possible because it's like then I can just relax about it. I can just relax. I've got loads of skills and stuff, and we can mess around in that regard. Also, 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 the thing that I'm very excited about is here is this laundry pole plus. I found, I found a panda. And it drops, a, dropped a laundry pole plus, and it's so good as a weapon. It's a laundry pole, but it's like better. This is laundry pole plus. Let's go. We got quests to do. Alright, so let's head out. We want to head to air uh, we need to do one of every enemy, obviously. Um let's have a little play around with like some of the new skills we've got here. So like obviously I like dark matter. I like dark matter it's space very, very good. Crushes a foes, body we can press space. Obviously it's like I, I focus on the um stuff like mutant speed. I like buffs and debuffs. I should try messing around with others based on what other people have said in the comments. Like, yeah, you know what? Let's mess around, try and Mess with other things. So let's see. What's this even weak to anyway? Nothing. Uh, monster inhibiting forests. Yep. Inhabiting. Not inhibiting. Inhabiting. His speciality charge attack. <laughs> Knock you right out. Um, hmm. Let's just go with an aqua bleed on it for now. And let's. Let's throw out. A, I mean, I've got a Helen Gate now, you know. So let's, let's throw out a stone hammer just because. Farewell, matey. This music's awesome. Bosh. Oh, are we done already? One. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll show you where I found the pandas, though. At some point. It's around here. I left every chest I found, obviously. You've seen a lot of empty chest chests in your day, but you've really gotta say, this one's the finest. It's a bit wrong though, because it said chest twice. It's very strange. Um, yes, we'll take out the ostrich. Okay, so... Let's get a dark matter out. Oh no, it's just vulnerable to wind, so let's go with an air... Well, they're both vulnerable to wind. Aren't they? So we've got 110. And we got 150, so it's probably wise to do the AoE. An avian monster that lives in the forest, its sharp clawed attack can be dangerous. And a plant monster that looks like a corn store. Shoots seeds to kill its prey. Um, but if we do do that, it will actually be after they attack. Is there any way to get it before? Is there anything I can do in arts-wise that would be before? Or should I jump to crafts and try this chain here? i show that off chain 2. Uh, up to three people charge forth and deal damage. It's like, I can't really do anything else other than with Shadow, but you know, you know. I could do hard break, penetrate. I could do true hurricane. That comes straight up for us, won't it? So let's do that. Like so. Okay, and then. Let's see. Sylvan Whip, maybe? 80 advance would be good because then we can get us ahead of time. Then we don't get the attack out. So it's like, hmm. Oh, you're not together anyway, so it's sort of like, hmm. Not casting anything, so it's pointless doing that. So let's go with a chain. chain. Can it reach with that chain? I think it can. It's, it's this big guy I want to take out first. Ready? Okay. Bosh. Ew, poison. I thought I had anti-poison stuff on. I'm sure I picked some up. I don't, I don't know. So what are you vulnerable to again? 
fires. Uh, do I have fire on you? I don't think I do, do I? Okay, very well, we're just going to a simple... A normal attack should be enough, surely. Like 272. Yeah. Oh, are we done already? Do a tender poultry. Okay, I'll take out one of these flying thingies, wait for you to turn around, go! Okay, what are you vulnerable to then? So we got flying mop, an insect monster from the forest. Its wings shed petrifying scales. May call for backup, not vulnerable to anything in particular. So let's try a normal attack and see what we get. Ooh. Well, let's normal attacks all around then. There you go. Oh, are we done already? We're done already. Alright, so... Did I miss a chest then? I feel I feel like I missed a chest, I don't know why. Is there one over here? Watch out for the ostrich, watch out for the ostrich. Alright, so... This should be... Yeah, it's the Pearl Tower. We'll head for the tower first. So we do have a quest there to take a picture! Get the lovely picture done. Just being wary going through. Before I start turboing and get used to that again. I'm not doing one of you. Ah! Yes, this is the spot. These guys here, like I, I kept going in, in and out of like the area down here and facing off against these guys. Well, they've not done it now, but sometimes, sometimes they have a panda appear. And when the panda appears, it drops the laundry pole. Plus, no, like a laundry pole, but really, really, really good. Because it's got a plus on it. I can't turn the camera. All right, so chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ippy cut one. Empty as your bottom is dry. Alright. I do like to keep my bottom dry. Who doesn't? I ask you, who doesn't? Let's make sure. Nope. Let's take out these sheepy tack things. Can we just go with normal attacks on these guys? I mean, they're fun to to fire, but. I feel like we can get in range. And... Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll take that as a one-off right now. And we'll see. We might be alright. So I'd like to save my EP and H HP and CPs and all, all my Ps. Because then it's very useful. No chests, okay. Alright, it's so Fiddle Tower, second floor. We'll have you. Alright, what we got, what we got, what we got. Okay, Helmet Crab, vulnerable to wind. You're vulnerable to fire. Hmm, fire seems to be the way with those two. So anyway, Helmet Crab, an atypical crust crustacean monster surrounded by a force field, can call palms for backup. A seahorse demon, a telostean monster that blows sporic thick bubbles. Yep. Weak against anything besides water. I mean, if you're waking at anything as besides war, I might just go out with a wind. Like an AoE wind on these guys. Dustly green fluff. Not only can it steal EP, it can use arts as well. I don't feel like we need to use, like, Antisept on it or anything like that. I just feel like we can get out here with Aerial. We should be right. We do have it on both of you now, so... I mean, two, of you, two of you are vulnerable to wind. So, seems logical. Yeah, I think we're all right. Yeah! And the difference in the sound effect when I turbo it. Okay, so you're done. Oh, wait, which way do we come in? Do we come in this way? Okay, so let's go left first. Oh, that's right. Well, it's not. It's left. Ha <laughs> ha! We shall see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't like this. No, there's too many ways. I don't like it. Was this like this before? I don't remember. Oh god. Oh god, there's so many things get around you. Found here, bomb. The treasure chest is on strike until further notice. All right. Oh god, damn it, Shadow! Kill you. There we go. Oh, are we done? All I would have impeded it, but there was no need. There was no need. All right, so next one across. Lovely chest. Headless meatballs. A vanishing of paper with a headless meatballs just be written on it. 
That's it, I've come up with a new recipe. The chest is empty. You vaguely remember digging through it and pillaging everything it had. Can't remember when. It's just now. I remember when just fine. You liar. Where am I? Oh god, is this where I came up? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Okay, we'll leave you alone for a moment. I'll take you out, because otherwise you're going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, well, we know, based on previous ones, that the wind stuff seemed to work nicely, but, um... Let's actually run away. Oh, was it? Oh! Hello! I was trying to get a surprise attack myself on them, and I was going to say, Oh, it worked in the complete opposite way! And it's like, hold on a minute. This changes things, because I was going to run away again and get the... If I could. There's a dark matter there if I can. Looks like we might be able to... Yes! Right, you... Are you vulnerable to again? Oh no, there's still a shiny pump. Still a shiny pump, what am I doing? Shiny pump, shiny pump. Dark matter. Maybe we'll get it before it... Runs. Maybe. Ah, I think he's gonna run. Oh no. Let's get another dark matter just in case. Nice. And you, we can just probably hit normally now. Wasn't paying attention to this guy at all throughout that. Just trying to get the shiming, shiming, shiming pumps. Yep, that's what they're called, shiming. Not bad. Loads of sippeth. That's what I was after. Shrimplet. Inside the empty chest is carved, Olivier is handsome. You briefly wonder if he put that there himself. Oh dear, Olivier. What are you doing? Alright, so let's take out these chests, but I'm wondering about these guys. Run! I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. Because it's that case. Alright, give me a chance to run away. Oh, again? I mean, that just makes you want to kill the Shining Palm again. It's like, fine. Fine, and then normal attack. I don't need to focus too much on you. I was gonna try and run away and get a surprise attack on them. It's like, all right, fine. All right, left here, left here, and a chair there. Let's make sure our EP is up back to normal as well. Good enough. Alright, so you're not looking now, so... Monsters appeared! Oh, great. Alright, what we got then? Alright, so we know these little guys are vulnerable to fire. We know that. These guys, Robert Trapper, a monster lurking in treasure chests, uses water-based arts, explodes when defeated. So keep away from it. Fire seems to be the way to go, though, but I've only really got... Firebolt. So it's like... It's gonna be a while before it gets there. So I might... Hmm. Let's see about getting that going. Kind of want them to group up, though, so if anything, what we should actually do is go with... Because I feel they're going to be a bit tricky, so let's go with Clock Off. I think that's probably going to be the more wise thing to do. I should really move out of that, but... Hmm, here comes the issue. Trying to focus on the bus, but it's like, mm. right? You should be in a good grouping now, but it's like, should I try and get the antisept out? Might be a good idea. There's a quite a few of them. Ooh, that's gonna be an issue. So what's the course of action here? That's the that's the question. Okay. It's that it's that cast is gonna be the issue. Hmm. 
was like, should I try and get them dead as quickly as possible instead? Try and get the dark matter out, because we know that works well. Or should I go for the crap and go for a true hurricane? Well, I think we should, we'll try for a true hurricane rather than buffing, which didn't seem to work nicely for us at all, did it? So at least we get something going out. Hmm. I'll do that, it brings her back around again quite quickly and she can do her big whoosh 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 whoosh, whoosh again. If I do Silver Whip, I don't even really get it on you, so I'm thinking... Do that, if we get that craft destroyed... Destroyed, yes. So now you're impeded, so it should be a bit better. Oh, that's better. It looks like you're gonna come around and cast all that. Okay, so I'm thinking True Hurricane again. Just try and get rid of these bombs that are around. Hmm. Does it, I don't feel like I should impede, so I feel like that'd be a waste at this point. But if I do that there, see what I get in terms of damage. Don't think it's gonna be much, but I should get rid of the pom. Oh, this is 700 odd though. Right, so now... We need to see about getting impede going on one of you. Hmm... I'm gonna go with that one. Great! Okay, so, impede on you! Oh, come on! That's just not on. That's just not on. Alright, Fireball, who's the weakest here now? You. Alright, so we need a heal now to recover from what we just did. I'll Fireball on that one because it's far enough away. Like, the damage is quite significant on it, so it's sort of like, yeah, we should focus on doing that. Ah, this is the thing, I... It's like I could just take it out. Easily, because it's like 357, it's like... Yeah, I could wait and heal up and stuff like that, but it's like, it's over there. It'd be nice to have it away from us. Right, so I'm gonna try and impede you. And try and get you away at the same time. Hmm, let's move away. I don't want to die. It's that sort of case of like, well, move you away, move you away. And then a simple anything should be good against it, shouldn't it, really? Other than water attacks, so 82. Especially on a crit. It's alright. What happens when you clear out every chest in the world? What with. What will other adventurers do then? Well, they'll be stuffed. Well, they will. Um, what was I checking? Ah, equipment. That was it. Prevents faint. Why do I have the prevents poison? There. I know I had it prevents poison somewhere. So what was this? What's the silver term? A talisman crafted from a type of septium. The wearer's attack and defense will become water-based. Okay. I'll leave that for now, because I don't... Oh, there's nothing that way. Nothing that way. Okay, so it's just chests here. Okay. So we're still making our way around here for chests, weren't we? Before we headed upwards. Genis Blouse. Oh. As you approach, the chest bursts open on its own. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. Yeah. Uh, who would require this Genis Blouse, I wonder? ADF speed, agility. Actually, it feels like more like Sherazard would be better for that. I don't know why, it's just I sort of like the agility and speed. It, it just feels better to have you share it with that. We shall see. Okay, we're back at the start. This is where I came up, isn't it? This is where I came up, because I came all the way up here. And that's the start. Okay, right, okay. I really should get maps for this place. Alright, so we just went up there, so it means we go in the middle here. You've just got chests around. Purging Balm. 
You begin to suspect that this treasure chest is a portal to the meat dimension. There's a meat dimension? You imagine that this chest as it once was, brimming with treasure and full of delight. You can hardly bear to look at it now. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. So is that as done on this bit? Can we go back? Can we go back this one? And then go back this one? And then there's another direction, yes? That was right? Because we went left first, so yeah, right. Okay, okay. So this is the right way. Aha, 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 hello! <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll go this way first. Chest. Ebony's staff. You obtain the sword of the ancient god kings. Just kidding. It's empty. No. Oh. I mean, I got something, but is it better than my laundry pole? No! <laughs> of course not. It's the laundry pole! Which way did I come? I'm gonna go back first. I feel like it might be better to go in here. Chest wise. There you go. Pearl earring! Inside the chest is the key to its heart. Oh. That's lovely, isn't it? So, what was that? Prevent seal. Okay, okay, I'll keep an eye on this stuff. So it's this way we went, and then went up. And there was a chest over there, which had the sword in it. Oh wait, it didn't, because it lied. What was that? There was an exclamation there. I bet I could fish here. Hello, hello. Hook, line, and sinker. Which rod would you like to use? The marine star. What bait would you like to use? Shrimp it. I did a lot of leveling up. Got quite a bit, babe. Got it! Ooh! Look at polish your system. I can throw the crab back in his bait? Lovely! Ooh! Oh, lovely. Let's throw the crab in. We'll go till we get one that's similar again. A bit like we did with Cold Steel. Alright. Or if we get three of those in a row, we'll go with that idea as well. What do we get? Crab! Right, so we're done then. Like I said, it's just like we'll go until we do that. Clog boots! Well, it's been swell. Uh -huh. See you again on New Game Plus. Really? Alright. You gotta miss. Does that. I want that to change on New Game Plus. Please tell me it changes on New Game Plus. Those are for men, aren't they? They're gonna be for men. Yes. Yes. We've done, already done a crab monster thing, dude. What's it? Train to be coming this way, so that means we go this way. Is that it? Whoa. Ooh, it's glowy. Really is active. I see, just as we heard. Seems safe for now, but let's get the picture taken quickly anyway. It'd be wise to leave as soon as we can. Right. Okay, so where should I shoot from? To take a picture, use the orbital camera. Move to where you wish to take a picture from, then select the orbital camera from items tab on the camp menu. I'd imagine, like, right here, right? Right at it. Like, what, what's, what's, like, the length of it? Like, how wide is this? And all that type of stuff. Orbital camera. Now, this is a bit too close. I need to back off a bit. Okay. You I mean, you wanted... It, chair is in the way. It was like, we wanted a straight shot of it, so it's all like, yeah. This is a bit too close. I need to back off a bit. Really? Hmm, seems okay, I guess. Look for another place. Okay. Fine. You want it all artistic -y, do you? Like, angled shots and stuff like that. Hmm, seems okay. Uh, look for another place, then. Here? How on some of this like- Oh, this is amazing! I think it's a bit off. You take a picture from more straight on, I think. What? 
See another tower over there. Oh, that's the lighthouse, isn't it? There's got to be like a perfect spot to take this from. Hmm, seems okay, I guess. Hey, really? Like, this is straight on. <laughs> Fine. Alright, I've made up my mind. I'll take it. Lovely. And all done. Let's return to town, then. There's little point in remaining here. We're going back already? Well, yes, that was the plan. Is there a problem? Not really a problem, I guess. It's just... Came all this way, so heading straight back would be a waste, don't you think? Ah, uh, someone's got a bit of dungeon diving itch in her new jacket, I think. I'll keep an eye on you if you want to explore the tower, Estelle. Um, uh, head back. Well, no, we shouldn't. Uh, settling up this job's got to come first, certainly. Yes, that's a good point for a brace to keep in mind. Let's return to the one. Let's go. I don't want to go all the way back. Like, to the person. Because that's actually really nice, because now I'm at the bottom of the tower, and I assume I was done based on... I, I, I felt like I checked everywhere, so I feel like I'm done. Which means we're done for this part. And what we'll do is I'll get back to that um, crossroads just up here. Yeah, and we'll end this part here. And we'll go down there. To air letting. So see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.